Grace and peace to you all. This is Pastor Albert Son Ping Pong and the Lolly. Amen. <laughs> Listen, by the grace of God, we are alive here and well, and we trust that you are also alive there and well. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. We are having our early morning walk with Jesus Christ. Today's date is the eighth. Can you imagine? Today is the 18th day of the third month of the new year 2020. The 18th of March. Can you imagine how fast, you know, how fast it has taken us to be here? And it means a total of 78 days that God has faithfully carried you and I without complaining. And he has supplied our every need. Isn't that true, Delali? Yes. The Lord has been so what? Good. So good. Bountifully. Bountifully good. And look at him. The strength he has given to us to walk this morning. The Lord has been our shield, our buckler, our hiding place. Isn't that true? Yes. Amen. The temperature here is 57 degrees Fahrenheit, which makes it about 13.9 degrees Celsius. And how generous God is to give us such a wonderful weather that we can walk in. My beloved, you and I owe God our utmost thanks and gratitude. And gratitude. Amen. We owe the Lord our utmost thanks and gratitude. Because He has been so merciful, graceful, wonderful, all of the above. Amen. <laughs> I mean, no amount of words can express or explain how great God has been. Is that right? Exactly. Amen. He is so good. We thank him for his goodness. My beloved, today I want us to delve into the word of God to see what God has for us in today and the ensuing days. Now, we have to note that the word, that the messages that I deliver on a daily basis are not meant just for that day. They are words... There are messages that you and I need in this difficult time and the days ahead, okay? We need it, especially in the face of this menace, pestilence, menace. It's a menace, pe pestilence that has plagued our world to the extent that you have borders, nations have, are closing their borders, nations, nations are in a panic mode, you know, all the nations, in spite of our nuclear weapons, our all the technology advancement, technologies, advanced technologies that we have, you know, trillions of dollars poured, trillions of pounds, trillions of whatever we've invested in armaments, and yet in the face of the coronavirus, we find ourselves powerless. So that tells us something that God is sovereign, that God, you know, there is no, no, no amount of anything that you and I master can be able to surmount the power that God has, okay? That he's the only one who can arrest the coronavirus. He is the only one with just a snap of his finger or just a wink of his eye. A winking of his, a blink of it, will stop it. That's what God does. Amen. That's why you and I owe him our utmost gratitude, praise, thanks. And that is why you and I have to run to him for shelter. He's the only one who can hide us and keep us from this. And we need, as a, as, as a people, to repent of all our wicked ways, to turn away from all our evil, evil deeds, and surrender wholly, completely, to Jesus Christ. Okay? Surrender wholly, completely to God through Jesus Christ. Today's message is from the book of Psalm 96. Yesterday's was in Psalm 95. Today's has to do with Psalm 96 and all borders around Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> All borders around thanksgiving and praise. Okay? Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Did you hear that? Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. If there ever were a time 
for you and I to sing unto the Lord a new song. It is now. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth a new song. Songs that glorify God. Not songs that appeal to the flesh. Not songs that will, you know, fetch you some commercial. There's a no. Songs that are wholly focused on glorifying God and showing how great He is. Wow. Sing unto the Lord. Bless His name. Show forth His salvation from day to day. Every day that you and I wake up and find ourselves alive, we have to show forth the praise and the glory of God. We should sing songs that testify of God's goodness. Declare his glory among the heathen. Beloved, that's exactly what uh, I am doing and all of us have to. To declare the glory of God amongst the heathen. Who are the heathen? The unbelievers. Those who scoff at God's word. We should have to show them that indeed our God is real. Those who scoff at the power of God. Who, feels, who feel like every power, all the power is concentrated to them alone and that they can wield power and command for things to happen. No, we have to show to them that there is one who is superior and his name is Jehovah. Jesus Christ is his only begotten son. We have to show forth his praise. Declare his glory among the heathen, his wonders among all the people, our God does wondrous things. Our God does wondrous things. The God who created the heavens and the earth and all the things that are within it does wondrous things, does wondrously, does gloriously, does magnificently. For the Lord is great and he is greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. Now you can find this lyrics or this words in my song, the songs that Delali, the songs that we published, uh, we produced uh, when the fourth, that is the fourth album is on it. Christ is gone up. It is on that album. Wow. So you can check it out. Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Come, let us worship him. Amen. For all the gods, hello, for all the gods of the nations are idols. Hello, all the gods of the nations. All the things that humans have put their trust and faith in outside of the living God are all idols. So you can see. And if they are idols, then they are vain. They are vanity. And if they are vanity, then they are worthless. They are powerless. All the gods. Even in the face of coronavirus, where are, the, where are our gods? Where are the things that we have put our trust in? Are they able to defend us? Are they able to pro uh, protect us? No. We are running helter-skelter for fear of the unknown. All the gods of the nations, all the gods of the nations, small g, the gods, small g, all the gods of the nations. There are some who go to the east, eastern, eastern gods, you know, go here, here. When you and I don't have to travel far to know the living God, he's very close. You don't have to travel very far to go and see God. Amen. You don't have to. You don't have to travel to the uh, far east. You don't have to travel to the Middle East. No, you don't have to travel to India, to Jerusalem, to any place. You don't have to. God is very close by your side. So all those gods, the small genes, all the gods of the nations, are idols. They are idols. I-D-O-L-S. They are idols. But the Lord made the heavens. Our God made the heavens. My beloved, Jehovah God made the heavens. Jesus Christ is his incarnate. God incarnate. Jesus Christ. God became flesh and dwelt amongst us. Hallelujah. Anna and majesty. Wow. Anna and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are his sanctuary, are in his sanctuary. You know, sometimes I, I, I stop to ask myself, why is it that you don't have these idol worshippers and the people who worship them? You know, every surrounding of this is unhealthy. You know, very dirty. 
everything. Some even to enter in, they have to go backward because they are not supposed to see the face of the adult, whatever. And the surrounding, the surrounding, the environment where they even inhabit is just dirty, unhygienic or unhygienic. And yet people flock to those places. People who, who supposedly are learned, who should know what hygiene is. And yet we go to these places where there is no honor, there is no nothing. And yet they go there because they feel like that's where the power is. And they give them dirty stuff to put in their, in their bodies in the, in the name of power, my beloved. But our God, the living God, is Anna. He is full of, he dwells in a place, an honorable place, in a majestic place. He said, Anna and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. In the sanctuary of the Lord is strength and beauty. The streets are filled with pure gold, diamond, all chalcedony, all these precious, precious jewels are what decorate, are the decor of the dwelling place of the living God. You can't find that in these idols of the earth. You can't. And there are some who try to, but it's all vanity. Hallelujah. Anna and majesty are before our, live, our God and strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Give unto the Lord, O ye kindreds of, of the people. Wow. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord. He deserves all the glory and all the strength belongs to him. He's the God who lightning alone tendereth. And when it tenders, the whole earth shakes. We have, all that we have seen is just the tip of the iceberg of the power that God has. Hallelujah. So give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering. Hallelujah. And come into his courts. Bring an offering and come into his cause. Bring an offering unto the living God. Bring it joyfully unto the Lord. My beloved, let us be a people who are full of gratitude, who so much will say, Lord, this offering that I'm bringing to you cannot, it's not worth to compensate you for all that you have done for me. And yet, Lord, I know that you will receive it at my hand. Let us be a people who joyfully and gladly give unto God without any coercion because of all that he has done for you and I. My beloved, the Lord is good. You can see how I'm full of joy because you see, the air, and this fresh air that is blowing, God has not charged me and he doesn't charge you. I am in breathing in this fresh air and it's causing my lung to rejoice, my heart to rejoice. I can tell my blood is even rejoiced because of the oxygen that is going into the body. It's all courtesy, the living God. So why don't we have to give him glory? And give him all the honor. Why don't we, why shouldn't we bring unto him offering joyfully unto the Lord? My beloved, ah, oh, worship the Lord. Let us worship the Lord. Oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. Wow. Fear before him all the earth. Let us fear God. This is, if there ever were a time when we have to fear God, it is now. We have to fear God. This is when the nations, all the nations have to fear God. Run to God through Jesus Christ. Run to him. Jesus Christ is the only way. There is no other way. You can claim I am serving God. No, there are not many ways leading to God. There is only one way. And Jesus Christ is the only way. And this is the time that you and I have to fear God, reverence God, run to God through Jesus Christ for our safety. This is the time. So, oh, fear God. Oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. Fear before him all the earth. Let us fear God. Let us tremble in his presence. Wow. Say among the heathen that the Lord reigneth. Let us all declare to the whole world. Christians, are you a believer? Are you a Christian? Have you been born again? This is the time that you and I have to declare Declare, say among the heathen, tell the whole world that the Lord reigneth. The world also shall be established that it shall not be moved. He 
shall judge the people righteously. God will judge the people righteously. He will judge, not according to the justice that is meted out today, the partiality that we find. The poor gets the worst judgment and the rich goes God free. No, our God is a just God and he will judge the earth in righteousness. Hallelujah. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the heavens rejoice. Let the earth be glad. Let the sea roar and the fullness thereof. Let the sea roar and the fullness thereof. Let the field be joyful and all that is therein. Hallelujah. Then shall all the trees of the wood rejoice. Can you imagine that? <laughs> I was just telling my daughter that I love it when I'm walking. I see the trees, the fluttering leaves. It looks like it's as if they are communicating something to me. That they are telling me how great God is. The trees, my friend, if your ears are circumcised, you can hear the music that the trees, the leaves of the trees make to the glory of God. The birds that sing, they all sing to the glory of God. They show gratitude. But we humans, some of us, most of us, want to tumble our nose at God and some of us are declaring God dead. My beloved, God is alive, he's not dead. So before the Lord, he said, let the field be joyful and all that there is in, then shall all the trees of the wood rejoice before the Lord. All the woods of the tree, look around where you are. Are there trees? Just look at them as they flutter, as the branches reel and roll, move back and forth. No, oh, they are all rejoicing before the Lord. Some of us said, Lord, you are righteous and you are just. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before the Lord, they will rejoice before the Lord. For the Lord, he comes, for he cometh to judge the earth. God is coming. Jesus Christ is coming to judge the earth. He shall judge the world with righteousness and the people with his truth. God will judge the earth. God will judge the earth with his righteousness and in truth. My beloved, if there ever were a time for you and I to seek after God, if there ever were a time for us to seek after God, when is that time? Now. 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 Now, now is the time for us to seek after God, to yield to him, to surrender our all to him, because he alone will rescue you and I, will shield you and I, from all, from, from the pestilence that flies at night, the pestilence that walk in the dark. The pestilence, when we use this in the dark, it means that we cannot see. We cannot see the coronavirus. No one can see it. No one can see it. A picture was shown, an object coming out of the earth somewhere in China, coming out and like, a, like a, an alligator, a lizard, going into the clouds. <laughs> but if, no, no, but no eyes can see the coronavirus. That picture, I don't know who put it out there. No eyes can see, because if eyes can see, we can seek to arrest it. But no eyes can see. The only eyes that can see is God's eyes. And his eyes run to and fro the whole earth showing himself strong in the behalf of those who love and fear him. My beloved, let us sing a new song unto the Lord. Let us rejoice in his presence and show his goodness to the whole earth. My beloved, do you know him today? As you hear me, do you know him? If you don't know him, this is a time to draw closer to him. Okay, draw closer to him. And listen as we sing, my, 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 my daughter and I as we sing, Hallelujah. Amen. 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 In times like this, we need a Savior. In times like this, in times like this, we need an anchor. Be very sure. Be very sure, be very sure, your anchor holds, your anchor holds, and grips the solid rock. This rock is Jesus, 
yes, yes, he is the one, he is the one, this rock is Jesus, oh, the only one, the only one, be very sure. Be very sure, be very sure, be very sure, your anchor holds, your anchor holds and grips the solid, solid rock. This rock, this rock is Jesus. This rock is Jesus. He is the one. This rock is Jesus. Oh, the only one, the only one, be very sure, be very sure, be very sure, your anchor holds, your anchor holds and grips the solid, solid rock. In times like this, in times like this, I need a savior. Oh, in times like this, in times like this, I need an anchor. Oh, I'm very sure. I'm very sure. I'm very sure. I'm very sure. My anchor holds. My anchor holds and grips the solid, solid rock. Oh, this rock is Jesus. This rock is He's the one. He is the one. This rock is Jesus. Oh, the only one. The only one. I'm very sure. I'm very sure. Very sure, I'm very sure. My anchor holds, my anchor holds, and grips the solid, solid rock. Beloved, be very sure your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. Then I pray for everybody. Uh, Father, we thank Father God, we thank you for your grace to be alive. Thank you for the ability to move and walk and have our being. I pray that your Holy Spirit will dwell with all of us during these perilous times and that you'll keep everyone's hope and faith in you and that we'll not look back and not look to the left or right, but look straight to you and hope in you and trust in you that you'll get us through these times. Please be with everyone and help everyone to have faith and to keep your word in their heart. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Grace, Grace and peace. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>